Uh, hello everyone, today uh, for unboxing is the Crossair 860 High Performance Hydro uh, CPU Cooler. This here is the front. It supports uh, Intel LGA 775, 1155, 1156, uh, 1366, and 2011. Also compatible with AMD 2 and AMD 3. Okay, and to the side here, we have the side here and the back. And the bottom and the top. All right, let's open this baby up. I have a knife here. It's covered in plastic, so let's just slash. Oh, I guess that's not. Okay, what else we got? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how you open it from the side up. And the entire thing supposedly come up. And first thing we have stop, do not return this product to the store. I guess call the company. Right. We have a solutions guide for 20. 10 crosshair advertisement I guess this is an installation guide yep right we have a sponge and we have the units all right I'm going to put this to the side and I'll show you in a sec. We have a fan. This 120 millimeter fan, I believe. Supposed to be. 120 millimeter, I believe. And we have some mounting screws. And some brackets. And two little brackets. I guess one is for Intel and one is for AMD. Anything else? That's it. Very nice. I'll put the brackets back. And we have some gel. Alright, we don't need that. But. Okay, so the screws go back there. So this is this is the so we have the cooler with the radiator attached to the pump and the heatsink. This is a very thin radiator, I tell you. Uh a little bent but that's okay should function but this is a very thin radiator yep very thin uh... looks a little cheap from what i see but anyway i'm gonna install it onto my computer and show you guys after installs uh, supposedly from reading some reviews and stuff I was told that uh, from what I understand these uh, are um, Coolant's products with uh, Crossair logo so these are not actually made by Crosshair, these are made by Coolance. Remember, I believe a few years ago we had 
some cool ass products and um, uh, they're not available now I guess they made a transition from cross uh, cool lines to Crossair uh, so everyone so finally I installed the um, Crossair H60 onto my AMD processor and it's running um, what I have is a custom a uh, a different fan than the original I think I believe it's from cool uh, well, I'm not sure what the company was. I uh, had it for a while. Well, this particular one has a controller. That's why I installed it onto it. So if I could increase the speed, I'm going to do it. And decrease the speed depending on how the noise level I want it to be. And also, um, as you can see, the installation comes around onto the uh, radiator. And uh, a few things, it's when you first install it and run it, it pump is very noisy. Um, you have to run it for a few hours for all the bubbles, I guess, uh, to settle in, and uh, the noise goes away. Uh, it's not totally silent, it is noisy a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit noisy but it doesn't go over the fan speed I don't think uh, also the tubes are not are flexible but are not too flexible they, they're not rubber they're more like plasticky metal feeling um, so they're not too flexible I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing um, overall easy good installation I comes the um, the processor ha comes built with AMD um, Intel pro Intel uh, brackets. You you take four screws out and it's put the AMD holders and screw it in, and basically that's it. You don't need to go through the back plate. There's no back plate. It's just right on. So AMD, I think, is the easiest installation for this uh, CPU cooler. Uh, Intel you need to go through the black pla black pa black back plate and install. Overall it's a good product. Uh, also the temperature I'm gonna show you on my PC here. As you can see, it's 26 degrees Celsius. Um, I honestly have the air moving in, um, so outside in, so cool air, uh, cool air coming from outside to inside instead of hot air going outside. Uh, so that's how I installed it. Thanks for watching. Rate and comment.